today this is this is brilliant. Edify sent over another pair of speakers. These are the R1010 Bluetooth speakers. Now it's not just Bluetooth speakers with 4.0 or 5.0. This is Bluetooth that simultaneously can play with two Bluetooth devices like two phones, two tablets, two laptops. At the same time, Bluetooth, wireless, and it literally can play like music and then you can stop it and then it will wait a couple of seconds and it will play from the other Bluetooth device. Absolutely nuts. Anyway, these are pretty cool. These are 12 watts each RMS, so 24 watts uh, total. Uh, it's got a nice little wrap, silver wrap over the top this is not a finger magnet version it's got a wrap sort of wood like look to it and it feels really nice they're quite weighty as bookshelf speakers but not too much 119 pounds so basically it weighs about a kilo each speaker uh, it's got some nice rubber feet on there so it stops it from sliding and uh, coming off your wood um, obviously shelf and landing on your head and, and yeah Anyway, so these are nice tinned or like soldered ends for the wires, so don't fray or anything like that. You've got black for negative and red for positive, and it's quite simple. You put the black, which is a negative, in the hole on the back of the speaker, and then you put a positive in the other side of the speaker, and then you do the vice versa for this side as well. Now, this has got an amplifier built in into the actual speaker as well, so you can put an additional um, DVD player, Blu-ray player, a laptop um, that's got RCA. So this is the RCA that they include. Well, they actually include a few, another one as well. This is a 3.5mm jack end and then RCA connector on the back, which is white and red. And you can plug in two devices on the back. So you can plug a CD player, Blu-ray Blu drive, um, a computer, anything that can have an RCA onto the back. And it works straight like that. You've also got a backwards, well you can make it both RCA's, so you can plug this into the 3.5mm jack female end and you've got RCA white and red on the back there and on the other side you've got white and red so you've got basically RCA cables this is a much better version of what Edify normally does so that's pretty cool no remote control, don't know why anyway fronts come off, they look really nice it's got an Edify logo on the actual covers as well it's a nice little foam, it stops it from getting all dusty and dirty it's got um a 5 inch dome and a 13 millimeter uh, dome for the tweeter. Nice, it's got four screws on there. It's got four screws on the little base, the base speaker. And on the back, it's got a base hole. And I didn't really hear any distortion when I was playing at full blast and the stuff through um, Bluetooth. And it's got four little holes there so you can put the prongs through. And then obviously have the front back on so it looks nice and smart. But I'll take them off so you can see them. But yeah, the speaker looks really nice. I like the nice little yellow cone and it's nice and flexible. On the front here, it also has a Bluetooth indicator to show that the Bluetooth's on. You just switch it and press the volume control button on the back. You just click it once and then it will show blue. You click it again and it'll be green. If you click it green, then obviously it's for a 3.5mm jack connector. And you can just connect this to the back of the Bluetooth speaker which has got the amp on the back, which is here. So you just plug it in, like so. You can plug it in into this side if you want. It's both the sound, same sound. And then make sure on the front, it's blue at the moment, so if I press the volume button on the back here once, it will be green. And then that means that I can plug in like a laptop, like so, and play music. Or I can plug in my phone, 3.5mm jack, plug it in. Um, you can plug it in, so anything that's got a 3.5mm jack could be a tablet or anything like that. So that's what that's good for. And if you've got a CD or DVD drive or player, you plug this in and you plug that into the back of the CD or DVD drive player. And then you plug that into the back of the amplifier speaker. But yeah, I mean, I press the button again, so I've got the Bluetooth indicator. And on the back, you also got a bass knob, and you can turn it down from nothing to naught, all the way to five, no, six plus even. And then the volume just goes all the way up. It doesn't go like the other Edifier speakers, where you keep turning and turning, when is the volume going to be at its highest or lowest? It just goes, whoop, and you're up, and then you turn it down, and you're, you're there. So it's pretty cool. Uh, cable goes straight to the back. The cable's a bit short. I'd say it's about a metre and a half, which is pretty short for a bookshelf speaker. Really, two metres, two metres and half but it's a bit short but it does look pretty aesthetically pleasing i really do like them i think they look cool anyway let's do some sound tests i'm going to do it by bluetooth and i'm going to do it one from the laptop and one from iphone 6s or 6 plus and then uh, so daniel has got his iphone 6 plus and he's got his one and connected to bluetooth to these speakers i've also got this laptop connected to these bluetooth speakers simultaneously going to stop play stop play and then see so you give you a little demonstration of how it works also um this will sound louder because it's a laptop and it's got better amplifier than what all phones have got so it will definitely sound more louder and enhanced than what his phone does but let's go 
I'm gonna go. F- Should I go first? I'll go first. No, you go first. You go first. <laughs> Basically, if you're in a party and you've got two iPhones or iPhone and tablet and uh, you've got some of these little speakers connected up, that means that one person's battery could die and then you can literally just carry on with the party by having another device that's obviously connected to a, an outlet and it's charging and it's ready to go, bang, and you just play the music. So that's, that's a pretty good idea what Edifiers come up with. Um, I've never noticed it on any other Edifier devices though. Maybe some other Edifier speakers could do But these are going to be, I think these are just as good or near enough as good as the 1280Ts. The 1280Ts are really awesome speakers and obviously, I don't know, so many people really like them. They've got really good clarity and really good, nice, tight bass. Tweets are really nice and crisp and clean. This feels really crisp and clean, even at low volumes. And I'm not getting any static at all. When I'm actually collect- connecting these uh, straight to the wall, I'm not getting any fuzzing, no buzzing, and this is at full blast. So everything you've listened to is at full blast, and me turning the bass down and turning it up, and it sounds awesome. It really does. So I've connected... I think I've connected, but I'm going to do it just to, just in case. But I'm going to connect this to my actual phone and see what it sounds like. And this is up full blast as well. And all I have to do is to get it onto audio for a 3.5mm jack. Just press it once on the volume on the back and I'm connected. So now, find a Spotify tune. <laughs> And as you can hear, we'll get these plugs up before I blow myself up. As you can hear, it sounds really, really freaking good. 1280Ts, these are like the new edition, I would say, the 1280Ts. These came out in May 2017, so they're definitely the new uh, versions, and I highly recommend it. I've listened to it with my own ears before I even rolled the camera. Thought it was excellent, had a little bit of a jab, no doubt in that. Anyway, other than that, it's got all these bass holes and stuff, and these little, it's got this speaker wire. How long is the speaker wire? Does he want, do they want to know? I would say that this speaker wire is two meters long, right? So if you want longer speaker wire, you could buy more speaker wire and stick to the back and have it longer. It means it's a bit more modular. But anyway, other than that, these are really good. Recommend it. Link in the description down below. 99.99. That's how much they cost. You might be able to get them a little bit cheaper, but definitely worth getting. Everyone wants to know if they're going to be great against the Mackies. Mm, don't know. But I might try and get a pair of speakers so I can actually line them all up and go, yeah, this sounds good. This sounds good. What do you sound? What, what does it sound like to you? Leave your comments down below. What do you think? It sounds like to you. Leave your comments down below about these speakers. So these are the BTs, no, these are the, what are they? The R1010s BT Bluetooth speakers that simultaneously can transfer from one device to another device and still connect to the same Wi-Fi. Really good. Definitely good for anyone who wants to listen to music in the kitchen, in the bookshelf, whatever. Sounds really awesome at low volumes, not hearing any crackling or nothing. Best ever fire speakers so far that I've tested. Awesome. Thumbs up. Anyway, follow me on. You know where to follow me. I'm not even going to say it. Anyway, link's in the description down below. See you in the next one. Because I will be there. I will be there. No, I'm just joking. See you later. I'm out.